Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So I wasn't really planning on making another pancakes video, I kind of felt like we got about as far as we could probably go with this family, but I've recently been made aware of a few changes that have happened since the last time we saw them. So you might notice that Bob is still in his bachelor pad and he has a few new household members. Eliza, Iggy, Molly and Bob and Eliza's latest unborn child are now living with Bob. Once again I left them alone and it all went to shit. So you might not know this but the massive house that Bob and Eliza lived in, that great big one there, wasn't actually the result of either of their hard work. I mean, did you not question how they could afford such a massive house when they have no skills? Well, it was mainly because of Eliza's dad. Pretty well-to-do business guy. He owns their house and let them live in it. But recently, everything's just gone tits up. Eliza's long-lost sister, who she doesn't really talk to, she's got a distant relationship with, managed to manipulate the situation and convince their dad that he should hand over the house and everything to her leaving poor Liz and the kids out on the streets. So obviously Bob had no choice but to take them in. So now they're all roughing it in Bob's bachelor pad. We've got a sleeping bag for Iggy there, Molly's sleeping bag there. Bob and Liz are sleeping in the same bed. I mean, their relationship isn't perfect. They are lovebirds, but their friendship isn't quite there yet. But you know, they've fallen on hard times. They don't really have a choice. This is Eliza's uh, evil sister, Pippa Newby. They're distantly related to Bob and Betty. Yeah, she just came out of nowhere, like a hurricane. Took everything right from under Eliza's feet. So, for today's video, I have a little bit of a plan, kind of a loose plan, really. Obviously, we can't stay here. This is not a fitting home. Oh shit, I'm gonna have to fix that. It's not a fitting home for two small children, a third one on the way. It's just not big enough, you know, it's a bachelor pad. So, I have built a family home for them. It's nowhere near as grand as what they're used to, but you know what? I feel like it would do their relationship wonders if they learnt to slum it together, actually go through hard times together. It might build, make them stronger. But the house that has their name on it is also in Willow Creek. It's a full bed, so all the kids will have their own room. It's not as grand as that one, but it does the job. And it costs about 42,000 simoleons. So I'm thinking I'm gonna have Bob and Liz try and work together as a team and raise the money to move out into the family home. And then they can start again, fresh slate. Bob won't have Eliza's dad's money hanging over his head, feeling like he's not good enough. This time, it'll be a life that they actually built for themselves in a home that they work together equally to buy. So yeah, that's the plan for today. Now, of course, we do only have 500 simoleons. We don't have to raise the full 42 grand because we're already living in a house and this house is worth, let's see, 27,000. So really, we need to try and raise about 15 grand and then we can afford to move the kids out of this place. I'm sorry kids, but for the time being, you're gonna be laying in sleeping bags, okay? I'm sorry, I don't know what you want me to do about it. Bob was doing pretty well in his career. He's at culinary level five. He doesn't have work for two days though, which is a concern, because we don't really have time on our side. Eliza is in her first trimester. I doubt that they'll be able to get into the new house by the time the baby is born, but if they could get close, that would be good. So I'm thinking, let's combine Bob and Eliza's passion. So Eliza, she's a fan of painting. So you know what, Liz? Go and bring some money in by painting. Liz doesn't really have a conventional job. She's meant to be an interior decorator, but we're going to try and focus more on creativity. And Bob, I know you can't make money from just selling your food, but maybe what you could do is you could write some books about cooking. Like a motivational book, motivational cookbook. That way we're at least getting some passive income while you wait to go back to work. Working together as a team. This is going to be the first of many wonderful cookbooks that Bob is going to have his name on. So let's start there, Bob. We've got you both working on side hustles. Iggy's going to be going to school soon. In fact, Iggy, how are your grades doing? A C student. Hmm, okay. Not too keen on that, but I guess we can try and work through it. 
It's Harvest Fest as well. I mean, the amount of pressure that's already on this family, we could do without Harvest Fest. But Bob, maybe when you get the time, you could rustle up a grand meal. In fact, you know what? It might be nice for everyone to sit at the table, have a meal together, bond a little bit. I do want everyone to have a good Harvest Fest. I mean, we're already in a bit of a shitty situation. The last thing I need is everyone sulking all over the shop from not having a good Harvest Fest. So maybe, Ziggy, you can go appease one of the gnomes. All right, he's happy with Harvest Fest. Perfect. Why are you so angry? Mood swing? Oh, from pregnancy. Oh, Liz. Did you finish? Okay. Wait, what, what did you do with that? Did you already sell it? What did you do with that painting? Oh, she put it in her inventory. Okay, 295. Well, that's, that's a start, isn't it? And good for you, Eliza, for automatically starting a new painting. Good for you. Oh, I've just noticed we've got a few fish in our inventory from fishing with the boys. Oh, Liz, you finished another painting, did you? Poor quality, apparently. Probably because she was so pissed off when she did it. Right, just do another figure painting while we wait for Bob to finish his book and make dinner for everybody. Although it's 10 a.m., so I guess brunch. Oh, have you finished? What an achievement! Bob finished writing an entire book. Okay, Bob, appease the gnome, because I know you really want to do that, and then we'll publish your book and we can, start, we can start expecting royalties. Yeah, here we go. Excellent quality as well. Bob, you might even get a, an award for that. Okay, he's appeased the gnome, and now we will cook a grand meal. What should we do for the family? Maybe turkey. Pull out all the stops. I mean, not... Things aren't perfect still between Bob and Liz. Like I said, they're not quite friends. Their romance bar is up. I guess it's mainly just lust at this point, which isn't something I expected for Bob and Liz, but yeah. They're attracted to each other again. They're just not, um, not friends. Well done, Liz. You can sell this 300 simoleons. That's not bad. And then, Liz, if you want to come and appease the gnome, maybe with a bit of coffee... Oh, look at him. All these mood buffs. Happy gnome, happy home. First completed book writing. Feeling happy. See, it just goes to show. Look how miserable you guys were in that massive house. And now look at you. You're all thrilled. Oh, no, that gnome's not very happy. He did not want coffee. Oh, well done, Bob. Okay, let's just call everyone to grand meal. That's right. With Thanksgiving ready in this house. Okay, Iggy's perfectly happy with Harvest Fest. That's good. How about you, Molly? Apparently you love your food. From being angelic, she loves a grand meal. So she's happy with Harvest Fest. Bob's happy with Harvest Fest, so the only person left to please is Eliza. All right, sweet. Well, Liz, why don't you go do another painting? I'm going to go ahead and end Harvest Fest. We don't really need it anymore now. Everyone had a great day. And you know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to sell these gnome fuckers. Perhaps there are some benefits to Harvest Fest, after all. And you know what? I'm going to sell my seed packets as well, because I don't really need these. I'm not going to be doing much gardening around here. All right, quid's in. We've got over two grand. Only 13 more to go. Which I appreciate is a lot, but what the fuck is Travis Scott doing here? You know what, Liz? This is probably a good opportunity to go and break up with him. Yeah, I know 13 grand is a lot, but this is only day one. So making 2,000 simoleons in one day is pretty impressive, I think. Oh shit. Travis is really sad because he thinks it's his baby. Okay, announce the news of the pregnancy, Liz. And then, and then maybe there's a way we can just tell him that it's not his, it's not his problem. He's crying, he's sad. It's not yours, Travis, okay, don't worry. Ask to just be friends. Okay, perfect. We're going to tell Travis we're just going to be friends. No more of this relationship malarkey. We've got a growing family now. We don't want to fuck that up. Is she in her second trimester already? Oh, fuck. She's in her second trimester already. Oh, Liz. Eliza and Travis have decided to cool off their romantic relationship. Okay, good, good. So now we're just friends. Iggy there riding his bike up and down the the decking of the house, like kids do. Bless him. Um, we didn't invite you in, Travis. Fuck out my house, open in my fridge. What, you wanna fuck my wife as well? No, no, of course not. You've already done that, haven't you, mate? Get out of this house. Little prick, taking a slice of my perfectly good hamburger cake. 
Oh, get out before I rip your skin off and wear it as a fucking dress. Right, Bob, let's go and clean out the spoiled food and then we'll put our turkey dinner in the fridge so that we can have it for breakfast tomorrow, maybe. Oh, looking good, Liz. Good job. When is Bob's next day at work? Is it two days away or one day? Okay, tomorrow. Okay, great, great. That's good. Well, that's probably enough time, Bob, to maybe... Should we see if we can write another book? We might not be able to finish one, but we could write a book. Could probably get one done by tomorrow. I feel like this is going to be quite a successful series. I want to get maybe five cookbooks done with Bob's name on them. I think once you get to cooking level nine, you can actually write, like, proper cookbooks. Because at the minute, we're just writing non-fiction, and I'm calling them cookbooks, but... There is a way to write actual proper cookbooks. Right, Iggy, can we get you learning some character values, please? Can you maybe do a little bit of cleaning up? Pull your finger out your ass a little bit, son. Are you doing another painting, Liz? She is on a roll. Oh, this, this really warms my heart, this does. They're in a shit situation. They're making the most of it. Is that something I can dig up? Some crystal there. And they're all trying their best. They've all got the right attitude. They're being positive about it. That might be something we can sell. We found Ruby. Well, that might bring in a little bit of money, mightn't it? And then, um, I guess you can finish your painting. How much is this worth? 36, is that it? Oh. I thought we'd be in like three digits with that. At least. That painting is quite sweet. Maybe we'll keep it. We won't sell that one. You could... Let's say that you painted that one for the upcoming baby. That's quite a sweet idea, isn't it? Yeah. Right, it is starting to get late. The kids have got school in the morning. So, Iggy, sleep in your sleeping bag. I'm sorry you don't have a bed. Molly, get in your sleeping bag, girl. Again, sorry you don't have a bed. And then Bob and Liz, sorry you guys have to share. And you can't even woohoo because you've got the baby sleeping in the same room. Oh, Bob, I forgot Bob's writing a book. He can stay up a little bit later and write his book. Also, you didn't publish. Bake yourself off. Okay, family, it's a new day. Uh, Iggy's doing his homework. Bob, I'm going to get you serving breakfast, son. Serve breakfast. Just do a breakfast scramble and then everyone can just pick up whatever they like. Eliza, you look like you're about to burst. Oh, she's helping Iggy with his homework. That's cute. How's Molly? She's still snoozing. Yeah, she's a bit hungry, but that's fine. Dinner, breakfast is going to be ready soon. Quick as you can, Bob. You've got a hungry family. You know what we should do as well if we get time before work? We should text the boys. Because just because we got the family back doesn't mean we should neglect our friends. So we'll shoot a message over to the boys, make sure they're doing all right. Maybe we'll do a games night or something. Right, Liz, do you want to maybe grab a serving for Molly? Iggy, get yourself some breakfast. Although it looks like you're not that hungry, but you know what? Get some anyway. Oh, cooking level eight. Good on you, Bob. Liz, are you going to give Molly her food or no? You just stood there with it long enough. Is it because you wanted the breakfast scramble? Bob and Iggy being jokesters. Yeah, I can see that. But doesn't Iggy already have a jokesters dynamic with someone? Maybe not. Ah, he's a jokester with Molly and he's hurt. <laughs> hurt by Molly. Oh, that's cute. Iggy must just be a funny sim then, because he's jokesters with his sister and with his dad. Not with his mum, though. I think Liz is a bit too stern, maybe, to play the jokesters role. You guys excited about having a baby brother or sister? Ask if Iggy wants a sibling. Let's ask him. Hopefully he says yes, because uh, very much on its way. Too late to do anything about it now. Yes, we will say yes. Oh, it's letting me choose. That's good. A new sibling? That could be nice. Oh, see, everyone's happy. Oh, Bob, I forgot that you've got your mounted fish caught by Bob Pancakes. Oh, I shouldn't have sold those fish in your inventory. I should have mounted them. Sorry, Bob. Right, um, Iggy's gone to school, isn't he? Right, Iggy, you are going to study hard because you're not doing good enough. Bob's got work in six hours, so not for a while yet. Obviously, Liz doesn't work. So maybe what we'll do, Liz, is we'll get you doing a little bit of painting. Bob can take care of Molly while you do some painting. And then when Bob goes to work, maybe you can take over the parenting work. Those two sims playing with piles of leaves. Who is that kid? Shouldn't you be at school? Gideon Harris. Skiving off. Iggy spent most of recess running around trying to kiss some of the other students. He didn't catch any bond, but the other students were running away. <laughs> oh, just kids being kids. Leave them be. Oh, we got our royalty report. 
200 simoleons, so nothing spectacular yet. I am amazed that we haven't been nominated for some kind of award. That book you published, Bob, was like excellent quality. Oh, that's a shame. Right, we'll sell that. Oh, you're already starting a new one, are you? You know what I think would be a good idea? Because I just remembered, in our new home, or in our future home, I've put some photo frames up. So I might get Bob to take a picture of Liz while she's pregnant. Because I think that might be quite a sweet photo. Just one to hang up. It's a candid shot. And then maybe what we'll do is we'll also take a picture of Molly. So we can fill up those photo albums. Oh, there's another digging spot there as well. Oh, there she is. Oh, is Molly hungry? Oh, I guess she didn't eat all of her breakfast. Okay. Well, there's a plate right here, Molly, so come and eat your breakfast scramble. And Bob, you can go dig up that and see if there's anything valuable in there. All right, Liz, sell that painting and then go and take a shit. Go take a great big pregnant shit. Oh, she's got two figure paintings in her inventory. I didn't even see that. What did you dig up? A treasure map? Can't really do anything with it, though. Liz, I think you should probably change Molly's diaper. Unless that was what you were already planning on doing. Yeah, change diaper. She was already planning on doing it. Okay, good. Oh, Molly needs to have some fun. Oh, actually, I think. Doesn't Bob have some toys in his inventory? Yeah, he's got this little toy here. The koala toy. Okay, cool. Molly, you can come play with some toys. Travis, here again. What the fuck? Send home. Oh, look who it is. It's my buddy. Let's just do a quick hug before... Oh, you've got to go to work, Bob. Oh, we didn't have time to give him a hug. Oh, well, Liz, maybe you can um, at least introduce yourself to one of Bob's bros. You know, say hello. Hello there, Knox. I'm the one you've heard all about. All right, let's do a little bit of cleaning. Throw away the diaper. Um, clean up the breakfast scramble. And then how long do we have? Third trimester in two hours. Okay, so in two hours... It's going to be unpredictable as to when we're going to give birth. So let's just do another painting. Try and make money while we can. Bob's going to be better at making like a stable income with promotions and shit. In fact, I'm going to set Bob to work hard. But Liz is pretty good at getting money like here and now. Very quick money from selling paintings. Also, there's that fucking bitch that stole our home from us. Pippa, you slag. Even the look on her face, she's come over to start trouble. Iggy, go give your aunt a slap. Do your homework, Ig, and then you can go and watch, um... Maybe you can play a game, actually. You can play an online game. Play My Sims Racing. If you're waiting to be invited in, Pippa, then you're going to be waiting there all day. Sorry about it. Oh, she's getting on well with Knox, though. That's good. Bob will be happy to hear that. Oh, wait, no. Liz is still in her second trimester. Okay, so she's... In yeah, she's now in her third trimester. She's going to give birth any minute now. I think we'll probably still have, like, a good... We'll probably still have until tomorrow, at least, though, I think. I think we've definitely got the rest of the evening baby-free. Sell that painting. That puts us over three grand. I wonder if Bob's going to get... Oh, no, he's not going to get a promotion today, is he? Oh, well. Probably tomorrow he'll get a promotion, though. I'm pretty sure Bob left some leftovers in the fridge if everyone's hungry. So just go and get some food, okay? Probably we should get a potty for Molly as well. So Liz, why don't you go to the toilet and then also you can um, potty train Molly afterwards. Oh, shit, she's pissed herself. Oh, Liz. Okay, Iggy's doing well. He's having a bath and then he can go to sleep. So that'll be his needs full. Molly, eh, she's not really doing too great. Bob's home from work. He's under vacation day. How are your needs, Bob? Oh, absolutely fine. A little bit peckish, but nothing too serious. Grab yourself some leftovers. Okay, Molly, bladder's full. Molly, why don't you go to sleep? Liz, put the kid down and wash the bath. And then take a bath. And then, Bob, you can clean up this little spillage over here. Maybe play online with some of the guys. Oh, Molly is not in a great shape right now. She needs quite a lot of attention, bless her. All right, well, Liz, you've eaten. You can go to the bathroom and then go to sleep. Bob has perfectly good needs. So he can help Molly take care of herself. All right, let's just get everyone to sleep. Oh, I forgot Bob, Bob is ambitious. He must have unlocked that during our little let's play. Iggy, just go back to bed, all right? I know you're not tired, but we'll try and get some kind of routine in this family. Are they flies? 
What the fuck is going on with the the trash can? I don't know. <laughs> Something weird is going on with the trash can. Okay, Bob, you can go harvest all nearby plants because I think that might give us some money. Liz, resume your confident painting. Did you get anything good, Bob? Snapdragon. Oh, not bad. 48 simoleons. Hey, Bob, do you maybe want to write another book? That might help. Okay, hopefully we can make some more money off this one. Uh-oh, Eliza is starting to burn out. Well, we did get our royalty report. Bake Yourself Off is doing really well. I'm more concerned about Eliza's paintings, to be honest. She's off, off her own back. She's doing one painting after another, but they're just not really worth that much. You'd be better off doing figure paintings, Liz. I mean, look at this one, 199. That was it. Okay, sell to publisher, food to fall in love with. Wait, what quality is that? Excellent quality. Okay, that's good. That means probably we'll make a lot of money. Hopefully. Hopefully we'll make a lot of money. Have a good day at work, Bob. Hopefully you don't miss the birth of your third child. Ah, oh, see? This figure painting's worth 342 simoleons. Better than 199, Liz. Oh, I think... I think Bob's gonna get a promotion today. I don't want to talk too soon. Ah, oh, Maker. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do Maker. And Molly and Iggy are behaving themselves. They just became good friends. Oh, shit. The baby's being born. Oh, no. Bob's going to miss the birth of the baby. Can you, like, try and hold it in until Bob finishes work, Liz? Can you manage that, do you think? Is there anything you can do? Um, maybe, maybe take a bath. Take a bubble bath, Liz. Just have a bubble bath. That will maybe ease the pain a little bit. And kids, you just carry on behaving yourselves as you were. There aren't any bubbles in this bubble bath. Hardly any. You call that a bubble bath? You just gotta hold it in for about four and a half more hours, Liz. Can you manage that, do you think? Oh, she's gonna be in labour for two hours. So it's quite likely that Bob might miss the birth. It's about to get a lot more hectic in this house. Just keep it together, Liz, alright? Just keep it together. Is she gonna go do some cleaning? <laughs> yeah, of course she is. Why don't you go lie down? Just go and relax, Liz. Just go and relax for a little bit. Iggy's taking care of his sister. You just take it easy, all right? Just relax. Oh, we're down to zero minutes. Teach Iggy to ride a bike. No, I don't think so. Relax. Why are you queuing up? Oh, no. Have baby. Oh, dear. Well, at least we've got a bassinet spawning, so we didn't have to spend money on that. Since there's a baby on the way, social services have provided a bassinet. Oh, but at least Molly and Iggy had some quality time together. Come on, Liz, you can do it. Oh, we had a baby girl. And we will call her Elsie, our little accident baby. Oh, those two hugging in the background. So sweet. Oh, dear, the baby came out screaming. She's already screaming her head off. Cute baby, Liz. Cute baby. Do either of these two have a negative mood buff from unwanted sibling? Iggy's happy to have a new sibling. And Molly, forever the favourite. Okay, well, Molly doesn't give a shit then. Right, let's make... I'm going to make a decision now just to try and make life a little bit easier for the kiddies. So Iggy and Molly can sleep there. And then we'll move the baby in the bedroom so that she doesn't disturb everybody. There we go. I think it's going to be a few days yet before we manage to get out into a home of our own. Or a family home of our own, I should say. Because this is our home, it's just, you know, a bit cramped. Oh, yelled at by co-worker. Maybe honesty isn't the best policy after all. Right, I think the baby might be hungry, Liz. Oh, what? Bob didn't get a promotion? Why? That is some bullshit, Bob. You've got three kids, man. Pull your fucking finger out. All right, Liz, well, you may as well resume your figure painting. Bob can take care of the baby now. I think she's sleeping anyway. Well done, Liz. Very good. Well, on that note, we're still quite a way off of our desired amount. I think we said we need about 15 grand in the bank, so we're a third of the way there. I'm not going to turn this into, like, an entire Let's Play series, so probably we'll finish this off in the next episode. I've kind of accidentally given Bob and Liz... Kind of a let's play of their own, really. But, you know, there's just so much drama in their lives. But I think I'm going to end this video here. I think we've done enough. We've got three kids, and in the next episode, which will be out same time next week, hopefully we'll be able to raise the other ten grand. 
and we can finally move into a family home and stick it to that bitch across the street. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe, you know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.